pitching staff or something. He had a Noah tonight. This was a huge start for Rob Bell. Pete Harnish pitches in AAA Sunday. If he shows a pulse, Harnish is back in the rotation, probably at Bell's expense. Huge start, and Bell didn't have it. He didn't make it past the fifth, allowed four earned runs. Let's go to the ball game. Reds Brain Trust, Jim Bowden, Doc Rogers, and the Chief. Chief Bender, high above the action. About as high as Brett Boone was hitting the ball against his former team. Top four, Bell serves it up. Boone orders. Watch Junior. That's how close to an out it was. Four zip San Diego. All right, top five. Some great hustle here. Adam Eaton, the Padres pitcher at the plate. Sean Casey will track it down and watch Casey. Oh, come on. Let's give him a little help. Break the fall in the dugout. Come on. It was 4 1 pods in the fifth. Here's Junior. Oh, that's gone. That's gone to the deepest part of the park, and the park won't hold it. Number 22 for Junior, a 4 2 game. But in the sixth, it's Brett Boone again, and look what he does. Brett Boone had one of those all time nights tonight. This one made it a 5 2 Padres lead. Red six, Michael Tucker off the bench to hit for the pitcher, Manny Ibar. This is clutch. Dimitri Young, Aaron Boone scores, 5 4 game. But Brett Boone wasn't finished. Are you kidding me? Three home runs tonight for the former Red. Six, count them, six RBI. 7-4 Padres, but here's the rally. Red's ninth, down by a couple. Couple of guys on. Look at Junior hang with this pitch. Into the alley and left center field. It drives both the runners home, and it ties the game. It's 7-7 after nine. In the tenth, Scott Williamson comes in, gives up a double. There's no way they're going to let Brett Boone hit again, so they walk him to get to Ruben Rivera. There goes Boone. Do you believe this? Scott Williamson gives up a three run home run in the 10th inning. It's a ball game. Junior tried to keep up with Brett Boone, but nobody could tonight. 10 7 is the final. The Padres beat the Reds. 5 5 LA and St. Louis. It have not been easy, you know, for the Reds, and it won't get any easier after they close out their series with the Padres tomorrow. The first place Cardinals will be at Synergy to play four games and yes the night belonged to Captain Barry Larkin and soon you will see why. But first we're going to start out in the second inning. Dimitri Young going lefty. He sends it off the wall in right center. That baby gets there real quick. Junior comes around and trots home. Dimitri hustles around the bases to reach third. Bichette was also played. It was six to one Reds. And then in the fourth, here comes Barry. This is a solo home run. You know, it's not that big a deal, but wait until you find out what he did. It was 7-2 Reds. Ruben Rivera won the game for the Padres last night. He struck again in the fifth. He takes Ron Vallone deep. Brett Boone scores. It was now 7-5. And how about Dante Bichette? He is on a roll. This one goes right up the middle. It's a single that drives in Juan Castro. Pokey Reese, by the way, left the game with a sprained ankle, but he should be okay. And here's Barry once again. He had a career high five hits. He went five for five tonight. This is his second jack of the game. That extended the lead to 11 to four. Elmer Descends entered the game in the sixth for Vallone. He went the rest of the way. The Reds get a win 11 to five, but they remain seven and a half games behind the Cardinals. Just another win, you know, what we needed. Uh... I was able to help out tonight, and I was happy about that. Large night, mammoth night. I mean, guy knows what he's doing out there with the glove and the bat. Great hitting by Larkin. All the guys. I mean, the last couple of days we've been hitting the ball much better, and maybe it's, this is the time we're going to uh, be consistent with our bats. The Reds may have been looking ahead to facing the Cardinals tomorrow because their effort today against the Padres is in question. After losing 5-4, to four, let's go to Synergy Field. The Padres load up the bases as they lead it 1-0. Osvaldo Fernandez walks home Eric Owens, the former Red. San Diego's up 2-0. And with a 4-0 lead in the fifth, Carlos Hernandez doubles the right center. Brett Boone comes home. It's now 5-0. Brian Tolberg, making only his second Major League start, strikes out Michael Tucker, pitches seven in the third innings of shutout ball. But when Tolberg leaves in the eighth, the Reds start their comeback. Sean Casey with a blooper to left. That scores Ken Griffey Jr. Then Aaron Boone rips a shot to left field. Here comes Dante Bichette crossing the plate. And when former Red Trevor Hoffman takes over, Eddie Tobbins, he says, man, I can get a single over Boone's head. Casey beats the throw home. The Reds are down five to three. Come back looking good. Pinch hitter Chris Steins makes it a one-run game. Base hit to left. That brings home Boone. It's now 5-4, but in the ninth, Hoffman strikes out Dimitri Young, and the Reds lose 5-4, dropping 2-3 of three to the Padres. We talk about the name of the game is on the mound. If you don't get the pitch, you're not going to win. 
And that's not a knock at any pitcher. It's just saying that's that's the way the game goes. Good pitching, you win. We battled back, and that, that's a good sign. You know, we came back and got four, and, and uh, you know, just it was just uh, not enough. There was a lack of enthusiasm out there, no doubt, and um, that was kind of disappointing. But yeah, you know, we tried to come back and do something, and, and uh, came up a little short. The Reds have now lost 14 of their last 18 games, but they can make up plenty of ground. They play the Cardinals seven times in the next 11 days. As I mentioned, they start tomorrow. Former Red Eric Owens leads the National League with 33 multi-hit games. The Padres and the Reds remain the only two Major League teams without a complete game. Now, the Reds losing ways cost Rob Bell his spot in the big show as the Reds the option Bell to AAA Louisville tonight. The 23-year-old Bell lasted only four and a third innings Friday in a 10-7 loss to San Diego. In his last four starts, Bell gave up 16 runs in 15 innings. Scott Winchester will be called up to take Bell's roster spot. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely miss him around the clubhouse and stuff, but, uh, you know, hopefully Rob will go down there and get some things worked out and everything, and I'm sure we'll see him back here soon.